Hi guys, back again. So I am going to go straight into this one. So somebody has said um, react to Laura Nero, Stony End, which I'm going to do next. So I reacted to a song by Laura Nero. Um, it might even be the same person that asked me to do this. Um, let me see who it is. Joe Campos. Oh, it's Joe. Thanks, Joe. Um, you've asked me to react to a few songs and, and I really appreciate it. But this one I'm going to do and hopefully it's just as good as the other one because that actually opened my eyes a lot to this kind of music. Um, so let's go straight in. But before I do, um, guys, please subscribe, um, hit the like or the dislike button and comment. I'm going to try and really give this um, video another surge, um, bringing in a lot more stuff into it. Um, there's a few things that might not apply to you about watchmaking and a bit of carpentry I do. and. Um, there's also a message I want to give, and I will do that in another video about um, about some recent internal developments um, that I've been going through um, as a, as a part of of this channel. Right. Okay. So um, that's it. Let's get into it. Right, guys. Um, there is a there is a box down down below um, where you can actually help support this channel if you want to. Um, choice is yours. Um, if you do want to donate, if you do want to help us out, um, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, it does take time and effort and um, a lot of um, editing <laughs> that goes into making this. And I've been doing it for a while now. And the, I don't know. We don't make anything from. Um, from YouTube, um, it goes to the artist. So um, feel free to support me, it would be appreciated. Right, here we go, Laura Nero, Nero even. Laura Nero. Jesus, till I read between the lines. Now I don't believe I want to see the morning going down the stony end. I never wanted to go down the stony end. Mama, let me start all over. Wow, that was a snippet of bliss. Um, I like I like the words to that. Never never mind the forecast. So, I, I mean, mama, mama, cradle me, cradle me again. Um, 
there's a lot to read in that. I thought it was just a nice, happy song, but it's actually pretty deep, isn't it? Um, I can't believe that I, I have not really heard of of, of this artist much. Um, she's got such a beautiful, light, graceful voice, and I just there's something very blissful about it. And and she delivers very profound, powerful words and meaning. So elegantly and so lightly and almost easy to listen to which kind of takes away the uh, melancholy in the meaning if that makes sense so i'm gonna have to listen to that again but i did hear some some things um in the song it was pretty much about i think there was a part near the beginning about jesus and about she wants to see for herself or something similar to that um Again, I just done a cover, not a cover, a reaction to Amy Winehouse. And it seems to me that this is just another artist that's come and gone and I didn't pay attention to. I just, what this teaches me is that I need to open my eyes and listen more to the world and the beauty in the world rather than being closed minded. And when I go through the charts these days, um, when I go into iTunes or Apple or whatever, and I look through the music charts and I, I, I'm i open to music much more than I used to. And I just say, okay, I'll give these guys a go. 90% of it makes me feel sick because 90% of it is just utter nonsense. Same old sexualized rubbish with the same old voice and meaningless lyrics about sex and is it, and I would say 90% of it, not all of it. There's some great stuff there and there's stuff I haven't heard. But it makes me wonder, like, from my generation and generations before me, what are our kids going to listen to? Surely, like me, they're going back to the old stuff and realising maybe later in life that old is gold. Um, you know, can you imagine lyricists or even, you know, like the Bob Dylans of yesteryear, their lyrics, their power, and their music, and and them as people and as personalities compared to Little Mix. Sorry, I have a thing against Little Mix and everything about what they represent. But anyway, um, okay, let's rate this. Let's rate this. So her voice was very elegant and beautiful, and I loved that. Um, the song has mean a lot of meaning, more meaning than I currently understand. So I'm going to have to go back to that. But I'm comfortable here with rating this at 72%. Um, please don't hate me if you think that's too low and you love Amy, uh, sorry, Amy, Laura. Um, I just need to listen to more of it. That's just me. I'm a slow learner. So thank you very much. I really appreciate the recommendation, Joe.